I'm joined by Saba Karim and Ashok Malhotra at this hour. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me on the broadcast. Saba, 252, a match-winning score for India there? Yes, Rika, by a huge margin, I think, because this is um, a turning strip. It is a drying wicket, and it may not be easy for um, the Sri Lankan batters to come and um, you know put up a big score, mm -hmm. especially against a three formidable spin attack. You have R. Ashwin, you have the two left arm spinners, Jadeja and, uh, and Akshar Patel. So it's going to be an hardest challenge for uh, Sri Lanka um, to come out and bat now against uh, the Indian bowling attack. Already they are 10 for one. Sabha, um, uh, let me go over to Ashok. Ashok, what do you make of the strip in uh, uh, Bengaluru? We saw it's a square turner, but would you say demons in the wicket? Definitely. It's only dim demons and snakes and whatever you can say. It's a minefield for ball one. Absolutely a minefield. And uh, that's why I think the knock which uh, Shreya has I have played one of the greatest knocks on this kind of a wicket because that is how you handle uh, this kind of a wicket. You take the fight to the opposition, but you have to be a big hitter to do that. Uh, that is what uh, Shreya Zaire did. He showed the way, the methods, and as Saba said, 252 is a huge total on this wicket. You know, game might be over on the second day or third day itself. You know, so th th that is the na name of the game because I think uh, we are trying to earn as many points for the World Test Championship as we can. So this is a uh, one way of uh, doing it. Finish the game in three days and earning as many points as possible. Sabha, do you concur with that? It's a way of earning uh, those valuable World Test Championship points, create a minefield at home? No, well, <laughs> the idea is to do that, but I'm mildly surprised with the surface, um, Arika, because in the end, let's face it, we're playing against Sri Lanka, not a very tough opposition. Mm -hmm. And the way we played the first test match on an equal playing field, I was expecting the same, especially at Chinna Swami Stadium, which offers a generous amount of pace and bounce. For India to uh, prepare a surface, which as um, rightly described by Ashok is a minefield, um, was to me um, a little bit surprising. Um, you know, on, 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 in, on any track, India could have beaten Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. uh, so why go this way? But having said that, um, I do believe that India wants to be on a very safer kind of a ground so they're able to muster enough test championship points so they're able to qualify for the finals. And I think for that to happen, it's very important for India to win their uh, home home games. And to ensure that, I think India has gone ahead and prepared a wicket like this. Um, Ashok, uh, well, this is the kind of uh, strip we also saw in Ahmedabad when uh, the English team uh, came home and Akshar Patel finished off the English side uh, much in the same way in that, uh, you know, Indians have been subjected to by the Sri Lankans. Uh, do you see that, you know, this is just going to become a strategy to win uh, home games? Yeah, we're taking home advantage. As Sava said, we have a, a team for all seasons, basically. But uh, still, they've they taken an easier way out, if I may say. You know, that, that, is, a, that is a short, short way of win, winning a, a, t a test for them. Although we are a very formidable team, we can uh, beat any side anywhere. Uh, but the fact is, uh, this game might be over in three days. And with the Aksar Patel join, joining the ranks, we have got three lethal uh, spinners on these kind of a wickets. Where I don't see... Uh, Sri Lanka going past 100, the way ball is was turning square, and uh, with Ashwin and Jadeja and uh, uh, Aksar in tandem, uh, it's uh, going to be uh, impossible to go past 100, if I, I may say. Maybe I'm sticking my neck, neck out, but I think uh, this is going to happen, and game might be over in two and a half, three days. Uh, so, a quick update at this uh, point. Uh, Sri Lanka are 14 for 2. India made 252 in the uh, first innings. Sabah, um, also Rishabh Pant started in the same vein uh, like uh, Shreya Shair, but he was unable to convert a good start today. Well, even 39 uh, runs on this track is precious, uh, Rika. Um, hats off to Shreya Shair for him to come out and dominate the Sri Lankan spinners as exemplary. Not many in the past on a vicious turning track like this have done so. And I'm talking about all the greats of Indian of Indian cricket. So for him to come out and play in innings like this was exemplary. Um, so incredible um, and, a, and a splendid knock from Shreya Sayer. And I think that was going to be a match-winning effort from, from him for, from India's perspective. Rishabh looked very good. I think most of the Indian batters understand the surface quite well. They know very well that, that for... for um, for them to score runs, they need to look to dominate the, um, the Sri Lankan spinners. And that's what most of the Indian batters are trying to do. And so many of them did succeed in managing to put up some runs on board. The exceptional cricket was, um, exceptional batting was uh, by Shreya Sayer. 
But having said that, I do believe he got adequate support from the other uh, batters also. Ashok, we shall have to talk a little bit about Virat Kohli. Once again, the way he was undone by a spinner. It, he seems to be developing a habit of getting out to spinners. It's not that. On this wicket, anybody can get, get out, Riga. But the way he was concentrating. You know, I've got a, no doubt in my mind, runs will start coming. He's too great a player, too good a player to fail for, two, for uh, such a long time. So definitely he's trying hard. The good thing about him is he does not seem to be angry anymore. He seems to be now more focused on the game, more focused on getting run, which which was not the case maybe in South Africa or wherever. You know, he, you know, he was simmering, he was getting agitated, and that's why probably he didn't uh, give his best. But now he seems to be focused on getting runs, and I see it's sooner than later. You will see him getting a big total, and and on this kind of wicket, anybody can get out any time. You know that that is a kind of wicket you really pray to God when you play on these kind of wickets. Okay, how long I can survive because your name can be written on any ball. This is a kind of wicket. It's a minefield, if I may say. Um, today, uh, he was a Virat Kohli was a picture of disappointment out there in the middle. Sabha, let me come to you and ask a little bit about the Sri Lankan spinners. If you compare the quality of uh, the spinners in Sri Lanka's Arsenal and Indian spinners, where do you really rank them? Uh, well, I was expecting a, a better performance from the Sri Lankan spinners, but I, okay. I guess they don't have the experience of bowling on a turning track like this. So, you know, you know, even if the wicket is assisting you so much, you need to be extremely decisive in your length. Mm -hmm. And I think both the Sri Lankan left-arm spinners failed to do so. They either bowled far too short mm -hmm. or they flighted the ball that allowed the Indian batters um, to get onto the front foot or to step out of the crease and hit those massive sixes. Because, Rika, now the game has changed so much. The modern trend is of power hitting. So the right. moment you flight the ball, the Indian batters, they do have the confidence and the power to clear the fence. Even if mm. you have two fielders posted at long on and long off, it does not matter anymore. Mm. So that is why you need to be very precise um, mm -hmm. um, uh, with, with, with the lengths you bowl. And I think right. um, both the, all the three Sri Lankan spinners failed to do so today. And that is why the Indian batters were able to pounce on these loose deliveries and put up this, this kind of a score in the first innings. Well, the match has gone on at a hectic pace already. 12 wickets have fallen on the first day of the second test between India and Sri Lanka, which is a pink ball test. Thank you very much, Sabha and Ashok, for joining me on the broadcast at this hour.